you have a you know, chapter about about ads and and you know you're getting your campaign set up. So first, let me ask you to give you give us some of your thoughts on on ads themselves. Like, what ads do you like? What ads do you think are most effective in your opinion? What what advice do you have for any of us that are looking to actually physically set up our ads for um, you know for Google Ads? So the ad type that we are required to set up these days will be a responsive search ad. And that has multiple different headlines, multiple different descriptions. And the aim is that you, it's like a little game because Google will give you a score as to how good a job you've done at creating the ad. And as you're filling in the ad, it will say, poor, average, good, excellent. And your aim is to try and get it to excellent if possible. Now, how you get it to excellent is by including as many of the different keywords. So if you've got five different keywords in an ad group, you need to make sure that those are in some way represented, represented within the um, ad headings themselves. Now, as well as that, I that's where I see some people stop or they might just copy and paste in a couple of features. I would encourage you to go beyond that. I would encourage you to look at competitors to see where are they making their ads standing out. And something that I do like doing is where can you use numbers or statistics or some type of figure such as, you know, 95% of our clients come back or 96% rep, um, would recommend us mm -hmm. and or, or um, we'll get back to you within 24 hours or within four hours or whenever you can include figures that makes your ads stand out. Mm -hmm. And within the description element of the ad, something I really like to do is social proof. And that's adding a snippet of a testimonial, such as something why people pick you or why people love working with you. And that's something that I don't see any other advertisers doing. And it really stands out. And at the end of the day, we're just bringing the social proof one level further from the landing page into the ad. And then my final point is to make sure that anything you're saying on the landing page must be ma anything you're saying on the ad must be matched on the landing page. Hmm. Because if you've said something about some amazing offer that you know $99 or 25% off, grab this offer code, and then they click on the landing page and they can't find it, you will very quickly get the visitor bouncing back off, which Google will then reward you with a poor landing page experience that will drop your quality score. Mm. And so the spiral downwards continues.